Hello Insiders, Newsflash time. So we are making YouTube Studio the creator's destination for all things channel editing. As a result, we will be launching the ability to customize your channel's look and feel directly within YouTube Studio. Uh, you'll be able to customize your channel's layout, branding, basic info to match your creative style. Because we wanna make this a great experience for creators, but also land really well with viewers who, as you know, often are using their mobile device, we're taking a mobile first approach to the customization experience. As an example of this mobile first approach, we're redesigning the featured channels option, which allows you to display a collection of selected channels on your channel homepage. We're making it suitable in a mobile friendly world by converting it to a channel section to make it consistently visible both on desktop and mobile. So in the future, look for channel customization features uh, with, within the new customization page in YouTube Studio. Next, we launched a new feature called Creator Mixes and Todd sat down with the product manager working on that feature to give you a quick overview. Todd, take it away. Hello there, this is Todd and I'm here today with Sam. Uh, he works as a product manager here. Sam, tell us a little bit about what you do at YouTube. Yeah, I work on the recommendations team, uh, and a couple of the things I work on are the recommendations on the homepage, and one of the other things is mixes, which we're gonna talk a little bit more about today. So what's a mix, really quickly? So a mix is an algorithmically generated playlist, and what we're gonna be talking about today are creator mixes, which are an algorithmically generated playlist of any given channel's content. All right, so where would I find a creator mix? Yeah, that's a great question. Right now, we have them in the Up Next suggestions. So if you're watching a given video, uh, we nominate, like any other video we might recommend, a creator mix, which would say mix dash name of the channel. Uh, and you can see it in your Up Next suggestions if it ranks well for you. And why would uh, somebody want to check out a crea creator mix? What's the value? For viewers, I think it's really great because it can let you kind of dive into a new channel that you've just found and really helps surface the videos that are gonna be the best for you. Uh, it also helps viewers catch up on channels that maybe they know they like, but they've missed some videos and it can really pull all that together or maybe the channel has a lot of history. And for creators, um, these tend to perform better than playlists that the creator or other users make. Those playlists are static and they're the same for every user, whereas a creator mix is tailored to each viewer. Uh, so they tend to perform really well and they rank really well. So we've actually seen uh, a lot of creators show us that this is jumping to the top of their playlist traffic, which is really exciting for us. And uh, we're excited that it's sort of this opportunity for creators to have the algorithm sort of work for them. One of the things that uh, I've, I've noticed about the creator mixes is that they tend to not uh, recommend me videos that I've already watched from the channel, so it makes it really easy to catch up on stuff I haven't watched before. Yeah, that was one of the kind of must-haves when we were working on making this a reality, is that it really couldn't just deliver to you a bunch of stuff you already liked. It really needed to dig into the content that you haven't seen before. So Creator Mixes has rolled out. What is What are you going to do next around Creator Mixes? Yeah, so we want to show them in more places. So right now they're in the up next suggestions. We'd love to bring them to search if you're searching for a creator or to your homepage. Uh, we've also received some requests from creators to make it so you could put them on the channel page. So we're thinking about that as well. If you have any other ideas, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'm happy to, happy to read ideas and take them into account. Anything else you want to tell us about creator mixes today? Uh, no, that's it. I'm really excited that this has helped so many creators so far and excited to uh, to hear what everybody thinks. All right, thank you very much, Sam. Let's keep it real. On June 1st, we launched a landing page within the Creator Academy site in English and 27 other languages as of around June 8th that will house bundled resources. Uh, for example, work from home toolkits to meet creator and artist needs at this uh, difficult time. Toolkits will be bundled around relevant topics like going live, monetization strategies, content pivoting. 
They will include relevant videos, workshops, and content strategies, as well as some perks from Adobe, Headspace, Frame IO, etc. So check it out, link below. Next, the COVID-19 health panel in YouTube search will be launching in an additional 40 languages in parity with Google search results. The panel is already available in YouTube search in 20 plus languages on iOS and Android for queries related to COVID-19. And last, the trivia question uh, from last time was how would you get a better sense of how your title and thumbnail stacks up to other options that viewers have, your competition for audience interest, if you will. And the first person to answer correctly was Easy Peasy Finance, who was also first last time around. And uh, their answer was you could search what people might search to get your video and see what other videos pop up. Or you could look at the related videos for your own video on the watch page in that watch next section. Either way, look at their titles and thumbnails, compare them to yours. Uh, yeah, that's basically the right answer. A lot of creators forget that the best tool to understand what your audience could be choosing from is to use YouTube as a viewer and look at uh, your videos and what we're recommending next to them or search for them uh, and see what comes up to the top because those are generally the videos that are performing the best and resonating the best with the audience around that topic that uh, you're talking about. So for this week's trivia question, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a throwback. What was the most popular Creator Insider video that we uploaded in terms of our first 10 uploads? So out of our first 10 public uploads, what was the most popular Creator Insider video. I had to check that out myself. It was a little trip down memory lane. It was a long time ago. Uh, channels come a long way thanks to all of you Insider Nation uh, supporters. And with that, I'll say keep it real and see you next time.